Welcome to my very first video tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to unwarp image in open, using OpenCV and I will do it on the, my Street Camera dataset. This was recorded using uh, Samsung S7 uh, mobile phone and it's in 4K resolution, so it's quite good. If you don't have any resources, you can download this video for free and uh, just start uh, counting cars or bicycles, I don't remember. There should be some, okay, let's go into the code. All the code is on my GitHub, uh, github.com Karol Mayek slash traffic analyzers. And here you can see the very first uh, tutorial, which is uh, traffic camera and warp image. And I hope there will be more soon uh, below. So let's go into this. And everything is uh, written using Jupyter Notebook. So let's go to the notebook. It's loading. So as you can see, everything is shown here, but let's clone this repository and see it how it works on uh, our machine. To do this, we will go to the homepage, click clone and download, and we will open new terminal. Okay, let's see. We will, I will do it in temporary directory. So, okay, git clone, and I'm pasting the address. I'm using here uh, SSH, but it doesn't matter. The address for you will be not the same. Okay, so let's go to this directory, which we downloaded, okay, traffic analyzers, and here we can run Jupyter Notebook, and it will be traffic analyzers, traffic camera, and warp image.ipy notebook. Okay, so we have brand new notebook. We have outputs which was saved before, so I will cl clear the outputs. Yeah, so now our notebook is empty, empty. <laughs> there is no, there are no results from the previous experiments. So we will start from imports. We will import matplotlib to show images uh, in the notebook, numpy to do operations on images. I don't know if it's used here, but I used to uh, import numpy and OpenCV. We will use OpenCV to unwarp image and uh, change colors and other stuff. In the first step, we will need the video. So uh, if you run uh, this cell uh, and you have already YouTube D DL, which is software you can download from the web. Yeah, you can just press download and download it. It's for Windows, Linux, I guess it's yeah, also for, for Mac, Mac OS and it takes some time. Yes. Okay, so finally we have uh, downloaded the file, so we can go to another step, the next step. In this step we will show uh, the very first uh, frame from the video, so we can show the uh, image read it from the video file using OpenCV. We need to change colors from uh, BGR to RGB, so we are doing it here. And here in this, uh, this cell we are showing the image. If I would uh, remove this fixed size, it will show the very very small image. So that's the reason I put it here to have a bigger image. Okay. Now we will de define our trapezoid because we want to change the perspective to have the top view. We are changing the perspective in the video to transform the trapezoid into the rectangle. In next step, we will define our rectangle. So, okay. So we have four corners and very f the first corner is defined in the first row lower left second one is upper left upper right and lower right so they are clockwise here in this example i guess it doesn't matter you only need to de define it uh, the same way for the rectangle it, uh, the points should match each other so uh, we are defining uh, our corners and we are plotting uh, lines on the image to show the rectangle in red. R red is the very first uh, from the three values because we have RGB, not BGR, which is default for OpenCV. So now we will plot the image. Now we can go to uh, unwarp function. Inputs for unwarp function are image and corners. Here we have destination for our four points. This is the destination for the first point for the second one, third one and, and last. Why I am putting the offset here? I will show you in the, uh, in the result. So let's run this. Uh, we have offset set to one third of 4K above 1000, which is presented here in the beginning of the left lower corner. Second corner is also uh, offset from the left and is zero because we have zero in the upper side of the image. Fortunately, we have uh, the numbers on the left and the below, so we can 
better understand what's going on here. Get perspective transform transforms uh, creates a perspective transform using our source and destination points. So we need four points in the source uh, image and the four points in the result image, and we will get the transformation which you can which we can apply to the input image to get the output image where uh, where the points will be transformed to location we defined above. In the next line we are applying the uh, perspective transform and the unwarp function uh, returns uh, unwarped image. So the image is presented below and now we can run this actually for all the, of the frames. And as you can guess I have tried this before so I don't want to wait for it but I will just show you, I will start this process. So in the first line, we are opening the video one more time. We are setting the counter uh, to zero, which we will increase the value of the counter each for each frame after writing to the file. Uh, it helps us to get different names for all of the frames. Here we are working in BGR, so we are not converting to RGB. I said here that we will sh show a region of the interest. We are drawing lines, then we are unwarping image. As a bonus, we are uh, putting the original image in that corner right there, uh, the lower left corner uh, to see what was the input for the current frame. And now I will show one of those frames. Okay, so let's see how the very first frame looks like. Okay, we'll use GIMP because I have now have some problems when you have many files in the directory. So, as you can see, we have our unwarped image, and in the corner we have uh, the picture-in-picture -picture view of the input frame. Very nice. Okay, in the last step, you can create a video from all of the frames uh, processed in the previous step, and you can upload this video to your YouTube channel or share it somewhere else. If you like this video, please write me a comment below and if you have any suggestions what you want to see in the next tutorial video, please also write below. I guess you, you can expect something related to Mask RCNN because uh, many people are asking me about this. How did you change the colors of bunny boxes and how to run this and other stuff. So if you have some ideas what do you want to see in the next video, give me a comment below. See you next time. Thanks.